I use a lot of camera apps for my videos. I've spoken about a few of them in my previous videos. There's Lumix for use with the Loom Cube Air Lite, DJI Mimo, which I use with the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, and the Moment app, which works great with my pixel lenses and filters. They're all very useful, but in my opinion, none come close to my favorite camera app. Keep watching to find out more about it. Hi there, I'm Francois. I like exploring ways that I can make my technology work for me. If you would like to get the best out of your technology, why not subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on how to do this. I purchased Filmic Pro from the App Store for a once-off 229 Rand last year. I did so because everyone was raving about this app on YouTube. And Filmic even showcased their multi-cam recording at the iPhone 11 event last year. I started reading the Filmic Pro user manual when preparing for this video. I'm now halfway through and I'm shocked at all of the features that I never knew anything about. This video would be extremely wrong if I spoke about all of the things I learned about, so I'm only going to focus on three things. The power of Filmic Pro lies in manual controls, that is, to change the default settings of the camera. This control is enhanced by live analytics that allow you to see in real time the effect of your changes. This is powerful stuff on a mobile device, but should be expected granted the exorbitant prices we now pay for higher end devices. So without further delay, the three things I want to speak about is exposure, focus and color temperature. One of the problems for me is controlling the variable light when I record. I sit in front of a window to maximize the light coming in, but this can be a problem when there are clouds. You may not notice this when recording, but you definitely will notice it when editing and so will your viewers. So it definitely is a great help when you can lock your exposure and not have to be at the mercy of the elements. Most camera apps have this though, so what makes Filmic Pro so special? Well, you can use the very easy option when you're unfamiliar with the app or if you want a quick fix which works absolutely fine or you can really dial into the exposure settings. I've never owned a DSLR camera, but I'm told that this is the kind of control you can get on one of these. You move a white circle around to where you want the highest exposure to be. I usually move it to the brightest part of my shot. Then you tap the circle, which then turns red, indicating that it's locked on that exposure. To get more control, you long press on the circle and you then can adjust the exposure by moving the left arc up or down. For even more customizability, you can press on either the ISO or shutter speed to lock either. Then adjust the other unlocked setting. You can even change the ISO priority by moving the control in between the ISO and shutter speed settings. You can turn on live analytics by pressing the A button on the bottom of the screen. These use different methods like zebra stripes or focus peaking so that you can visually gauge the changes you make to your exposure or focus. Tap anywhere on the screen to remove the dial and your settings are now applied to the lock exposure. Similarly, you can move the focus or square reticle around to where you want the focus of the shot to be. Tapping this once locks it as well and you can long press 2 for the right arc to appear. Then you can move this arc up or down to adjust your focus. Alternatively, on that same arc you can switch to zoom mode. Using this you can set how far you want to zoom in or out. You can set the pull to point slider control by adjusting the upper and lower pull point values. When set you can tap either of these pull point values and the app will move between them in one smooth motion. Perfect for the shots where you want to shift focus or perhaps zoom in and out automatically and smoothly. This can also be done with the exposure controls and you can even adjust the speed of the pull event by grabbing the control block for either the focus slash zoom or exposure and pulling it towards the center of the screen. The higher the setting, the faster the pull speed. These arcs can also be made to appear or disappear by pressing the manual controls button next to the A button. To the left of the live analytics and manual control buttons, you have the imaging panel. This houses the control of the temperature of the shot. It also contains the controls for the tone and color behavior, though these have to be purchased separately through an in-app purchase called the Cinematographer Kit. You might wonder, like I did, why do you have to bother to set the white balance if you already have the exposure locked? A quick Google search revealed to me the difference between exposure and white balance. Reading directly from that search, 
White balance determines the neutrality, which is the balance of RGB values, whereas exposure determines the level of darkness and lightness of that white card. I will leave a link in the description below to that answer found in the photo.net forums if you are interested in reading more about what people have to say on that topic. Within the temperature tab, you can choose from white balance presets for incandescent, sunlight, cloudy and fluorescent lighting conditions. On the other hand, you may want to set the temperature and tint manually and save these as custom presets by long pressing A or B. I usually just wait for these to automatically adjust, then lock these settings by tapping the auto white balance button which will turn to red when locked. I won't discuss the tone and color behavior in this video since I just recently bought the cinematographer's kit and haven't had a chance to really test these out yet. I will however link some of my favorite videos about Filmic Pro in the description box below to get you started on some more learning exploration. Although there are many things that make Filmic Pro such a wonderful app, for me the two that stand out and are worth quickly mentioning is the integration with other hardware. Most particularly in my case it is the integration with the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. The other thing is how much you can customize your experience in the settings. You can really dial down on what you want by adjusting things like the resolution, the frame rate and audio and then saving your preferences to presets. This really gives you so much more control in a very user-friendly way that is easily accessible to both the beginner and the professional. I personally think that Filmic Pro is a fantastic app and worth so much more than what you pay for it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like, Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Subscribe so you get notified when the next helpful video comes out. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.